Hello. Hello. I just want to say this. This video that you're about to watch is a rant against the Milwaukee Repair Center. I still have Milwaukee tools. Certain Milwaukee tools are some of my most robust tools. And my rant is simply about the lies that they told and the way they treated me. So uh, I understand that there's nothing free in this world. I understand that there are people out there that try to scam companies. I didn't try to scam anybody. I simply wanted my router fixed. And if they, if the screws had gotten lost in that box, I would have to go order and buy screws, which would have cost me money. And it, it wouldn't have taken them that long to put it back together. These are people that take these tools apart and put them back together all day long. It would have taken them about a minute to put it back together. So that's it. So there you go. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome to Scott Tindall's Home Shop, the rant edition. Yes, you heard me right. I have a rant and a major one at that. I sent my router off to Milwaukee to be repaired. Okay. Not a very hard concept to grasp. Nothing. They write up a report that said it was out of warranty. Well, that's fine. Serial number said it was out of warranty. It's out of the five-year warranty. I have no problem with it being out of warranty. I have no problem at all. Um, what I do have a problem with is their customer service. They wrote up in their report that the, that the armature was burned up due to excessive and repeated overloading. Now, I'm 45 years old. I've been working, I, was, I worked with my father since, a, shut up, Cap. Since the age of um, five. And okay, obviously at the age of five, I wasn't doing much work, but I was, was going to, on jobs with him and stuff when I wasn't in school and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And I, I've learned from him how to properly use tools. Now, yes, there are tools that I have abused. I bought them to abuse. They were cheap, skill saws or something to cut a roof off of a house, and I knew the tar was gonna mess it up. That's not the point. I bought the saw cheaply, used it, chunked it in the trash. All right? Didn't, ex didn't try to get the warranty back when it messed up, or didn't try to do a warranty when it messed up. Didn't try to take it back to the store. I threw it in the trash. Ate, ate the money because I, I destroyed it. Alright. Routers, on the other hand, are very dangerous when you try to force them to do stuff they're not designed to do. Bits will break and come out of the router, spinning it at 30 plus thousand RPM. And so, therefore, you would be an absolute fool to, um, try to abuse a router. Now, all, there's other tools that don't need to be abused, and I'm not trying to advocate abusing tools. What I'm saying is I don't abuse my tools. I didn't abuse the router. But this is how they sent it back. The router is this long. Why in the hell did they send it all the way? Okay. So, let, let's see. They sent it back. They didn't repair it. And they sent it back free of charge. Oh, that was just so great of them that they sent it back free of charge. Piss on them. They want they didn't want much to rebuild it, but I, I didn't have the uh, cash on me to rebuild it. Get out of the way. I'll save those for Tara. Tara likes popping in. So let's see here. Oh, it's a note in here. Return the customer unprepared. Warranty. Pap. Uh. Whatever. <laughs> Nothing in the box. They sent it back to me in fucking pieces. 
excuse my language, but they sent it back to me in pieces. In pieces, y'all. Look. In pieces. They didn't even have the common courtesy to put the damn thing back together. There's nothing wrong with that part. That part works just fine. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with the feel. It's the armature. I think I have a pilot nut around here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know exactly where it is right now, but I know I have it. I know I have it here somewhere. But I didn't send it. The armature, which I can't. Oh, the, the shaft is locked on. If you look down in there, there is no, no smoke smell, very little. The epoxy isn't melted out of it. The, the shellac that's on the windings isn't burnt off or anything to that nature. It simply has a bad armature. Some part of the armature is bad, okay? It is not overheated. I did not abuse it, and I—I I, I mean, look, the damn brushes. I think it's got four, and no, it's got two. They—they they send me the damn brushes apart. I don't know what they done to that one. Oh, that's the back. I should have got my glasses. So they—they they, they send it to me apart and in, in, in pieces. Now, I know I'm probably going to get some flack for this, but I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I'm just tired of big companies treating a little guy. And now there's a washer that goes in between here and here. And if that washer's not in there, then I have to buy that washer. Let's see here. There, everything's here. Everything's here. But they sent it back to me in pieces. I tell you what. I I, I, I it, it it never it never ends. It never ends. Alright, well uh I thank y'all for, for watching and and I just uh wish that they had it uh put it back together. Nice of them to send it back to me. Unrepaired. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, whether you like this video or not. Let me know why you like it or why you don't like it. If you agree with what I said or if you don't agree with it. You can put that down there too. I don't care. Alright, y'all have a good day. See you on the next video. Bye.